So in this video, we're talking about our take on iFixit's teardown of the Meta Ray-Ban display glasses, not the entire teardown. Uh, you can check out their full video. I'll link it in the description, but there's one key takeaway from it that really stood out. The idea that advancements in technology need to happen alongside advancements in repairability. Now, speaking of repairability, these glasses don't really score well there. Well, this is pretty much the case with most smart glasses, including previous Meta Ray-Ban models. Most of the internal components, the battery, speakers, sensors, are either glued or soldered into place. That means they're almost impossible to fix without specialized tools. The, the battery isn't user replaceable either. So once it starts to degrade, you'll probably need to send it back to Meta or Ray-Ban for a full replacement rather than a quick repair. On top of that, the waveguide lenses and optics are both delicate and expensive, and the water-resistant design relies on strong adhesives that make disassembly risky. In short, these glasses prioritize sleekness and compact design over long-term repairability. So if you're planning to buy one, just keep that in mind. These aren't built to be tinkered with. Now let's talk about what is impressive? The display tech. This is where things get really interesting. The glasses use a liquid crystal on silicon or LCOS display with a 600 by 600 pixel grid. Basically, there's a tiny projector built into the right arm that bounces light off twisting liquid crystals and passes it through lenses, mirrors, and a polarizing beam splitter. That light is then guided into the lens, which acts like a tiny optical maze to form the image you see. This setup is known as a geometric or reflective waveguide, which is different from the diffractive type used in many AR glasses. Diffractive waveguides are thinner, but they use microscopic gratings that can cause that rainbow-like color separation when bright light hits the lenses. The geometric kind avoids that issue and offers better light efficiency, which means the image looks cleaner and more natural. What's fascinating is how these waveguides are made. They're built from stacked layers of coated glass, cut diagonally with diamond wire saws and ground to extreme precision. It's likely that the waveguides in these glasses were designed by Loomis and produced by Schott, the German optics company that's now pushing for high volume production of geometric waveguides. Now, the field of view on the Ray-Ban glasses is only about 20 degrees, so you're not getting that immersive AR experience just yet, but the technology itself has the potential for much wider fields of view in the future. In fact, companies like Loomis claim this approach is the most light-efficient and power-efficient option available, which is crucial in something as small as a pair of glasses. Because here's the thing, as the display's field of view gets wider, the same amount of light has to cover a larger area, which reduces brightness. So the more efficient the waveguide, the better the image will look without draining too much battery or making the glasses bulky. The main obstacles are optical losses, brightness, distortion, cost, and keeping the product comfortable and stylish. So to wrap this up, while the Meta Ray-Ban glasses are a huge step forward in display technology, they're also a reminder that innovation often comes at the cost of repairability. Meta Ray-Ban, via their partners like Shot and Loomis, are making real progress and the roadmap promises wide FOV versions in the future, so hang tight, and I'll catch you in the next one.